Hi guys and welcome. I am back. Not only am I back with the tutorial, I am back with a sinus infection. Yeah, it sucks. It really does. I actually wanted to do this video last week, guys, but the sinus infection got in the way. I couldn't do it. Uh, but this week, I am doing it. It's not going to stop me. I'm doing it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to go over with you guys on how to use cheats uh, for your Wii backups as well as your GameCube backups on certain loaders that I have on the Wii. And uh, I didn't even know you could do this. I was surfing YouTube, uh, jumping around different videos, and I just come across it. I was like, wait a minute. I, you know, I, I looked more into it, learned a little more about it. And uh, hey, uh, now I kind of want to share this knowledge with you guys. Uh, most of you know how to do this already. But I assume that since I didn't know how to do it, there's got to be someone else, someone else out there that don't know how to do this. So uh, this is for you guys. Uh, so uh, I'm going to jump on over to the Wii, guys, and uh, we'll get started with this. And, uh, hey, I'll show, I'll show you what I've learned, you know what I mean? So uh, follow me over to the Wii. We'll get started. Cool. Alright guys, so let me uh, go ahead and show you what kind of folders you're going to need on your SD card and what file you're going to need on your uh, flash drive or hard drive, wherever you have. Uh, we'll start with the SD card first. Now, uh, you're going to need two folders here. Uh, one is called Codes and the other one is called Text Codes. Now, uh, once you get into your loader, guys, and you download a cheat file, it's going to download as a, uh, a text file which would be stored here and that's where you go in there and you take off which cheats you want to use and then after that once you've decided on what cheats you want to use you create a GCT file and then they will be stored in this folder here uh, as far as I know the uh, USB loader GX uh, Nintendo and the cheat manager uses these same folders guys okay so, uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, as for the configurative USB loader, guys, uh, the cheats will be stored here uh, in the USB-loader. Uh, uh, in this codes folder here. Right this area here. If you want to, you can manually uh, download these cheat files, guys. I'll show you that here in a second. But first, uh, let me show you the uh, my hard drive here. Uh, you're going to need to create a folder called, where is it at? Oh, right here. Sneak. And within that folder, guys, you're going to need to uh, download a file called KenobiWii.bin. This is for the Nintendo. Uh, if you want to use the codes for the Nintendo, you got to have this folder here with this file. And this will be wherever you have your games stored at, whether it be on the SD card or uh, USB uh, flash drive or hard drive. This is where your file is going to be in the root of the same drive that you have your games on. So keep that in mind. All right. Now let's get out of this. And, uh oh, this too. Uh, we're going to open up our website here. Now, this is where you can download codes, guys, and uh, I will show you real quick, like, uh, I'm just going to download, say, Super Mario Brothers, that's the one I'm going to show you anyway later. Uh, just make sure you get the right version. You have the U.S. NTSC right here. Uh, you have the Europe, uh, Japan, and traditional Chinese or whatever. But uh, whatever you want to choose, uh, if you look off to the right, uh, this is how many cheats over there that file there so we got like 94 cheats in here so what you want to do is just simply click on this guys and this will bring up all the cheats here uh, you can go ahead and create a GCT file if you want but I I really don't want to do that because I like to uh, store the text file or the text code folder that way you can go back and you can add cheats and create another GCT file if you go ahead and create a GCT file now, you can't change it later, as far as I know. So, you can come over here and click text. And you want to save it to the desktop. And let's uh, minimize this real quick and I'll show you. This is our file here. 
And here's all of our cheats right here, guys. I mean, it's a lot of cheats. A lot of cheats. But anyway, uh, if you want, if you want to do this manually, you just come over here. Ah, yikes. What, the, what am I doing? Okay. If you want to do this manually, guys, you could uh, just simply just drag and drop this right in the text codes folder right here. Okay. That way, well, if you're using Cheat Manager, you got to do that anyway. Uh, but if you're using the uh, loader, I assume just download the files with the loader. Uh, sometimes uh, there's some games it can't load the files. You got to do it manually like this. Uh, and two, if you don't have internet connection with your Wii, uh, you're going to have to do it this way also. So that's, that's a good thing to know also. I mean, once you have the text codes in here, uh, you can go ahead and go to your loader and you can create the GCT file through your loader. Okay. So, uh, let, let's go back into here. I'll show you this. These all will be under the description, the links and everything, so don't worry about that. This is your cheat manager here. Go over here to download, the, uh, to download it, of course. Uh, this right here, this is your forwarder. This is this will create a channel for you right here. Uh, you download it if you want. And uh, this is where you will grab up the uh, Kenobi Wii.bin. Where is it at? Right here. Just simply uh, click on it and uh, just save it to wherever. Uh, I, guys, I would kind of jump on this uh, while, while it's hot. Uh, I would. <laughs> I mean, anytime I find a file like this, I would go ahead and just jump on it, just save it somewhere, because there's a lot of times, guys, you can't find these files anymore. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if you if they are out there, they're really, really hard to find. So, anyway, that's that. So let's go over to the Wii, guys, and I will show you how to uh, get these cheats working on or, a or loader or, or whatever. Uh, so meet me over there. <clears throat> Alright guys, uh, so there are like three loaders that I actually use. Uh, one of them is this computer USB loader here. And, uh, let's see, the USB Loader GX I use, as well as the Wii Flow. Uh, I don't use this Nintendo, uh, that much. The only advantage I see of the Nintendo is the use of, uh, different controllers. That's it. Uh, other than that, I don't really care for it. Uh, but anyway, I will go ahead and go to the USB Loader GX. Okay, uh, so, well, the first thing you're going to do, guys, is, uh, go to the settings here. Uh, let's see, what was it? Well, first thing is first, you need to go down here. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, if, if you're launching GameCube games, guys, make sure that you have, uh, whatever loader you want to use to, to boot these games up. Say, I'm using uh, Dial Smiles. Uh, you can use Devolution uh, or Nintendo if you want. Uh, I use Miles. Uh, the Auto, uh, just just leave it uh, in, ah, I just leave it in Auto, that's it. Uh, but you have different uh, settings they like uh, Dial Smiles and Nintendo and all that good stuff. Don't worry about all that stuff, really. I, I wouldn't. Uh, but, 
go to custom pass guys and make sure you remember those two folders I had you uh, I told you to create on your SD card uh, your text codes and your codes folder make sure that you have the pass set to that directory uh, say the GCT codes pass was the uh, codes folder and the text cheat codes pass was the text code folder uh, let's make sure that those are correct and uh, let's see. I think that was it oh too well you want to make sure that your main gate cube path is uh, correct uh, I, I booted off a USB a hard drive which this is correct here if you're booting off your GameCube pass, just make sure that you have a games folder on your SD card. Okay, uh... Well, I guess that's... Don't worry about that either. Alright, so, uh, that's about it or that. Uh, let's... Let's try a game out here. Uh, the game that I, w I was wanting to show you guys is Super Mario Brothers. New Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> That's uh, this is right here. Is that the new one or is that? Yeah. Okay. That's the newer. This is the new. So what you do, you just simply go into game here. Go to settings. Go up here to game load. Make sure, guys. Uh, let's see. Make sure your ocarina right here is. In the on position here. Alright. You click save. You go back. Go to your uh, Ocarina option here. As you see, there's no cheats found. What you want to do is click the download now button. As you can see, it's been saved to the text code. So it, it actually uh, downloaded the text file with all the codes in it. And this is there right here. There's two codes that I'm going to use, guys. That's pretty obvious that they work. Uh, that's this one here. It can't collect coins. So no matter, no matter how many coins you collect, uh, up here at the top left-hand corner, it's going to show zero. So that's pretty obvious. That's why I'm using it. Uh, this other one is uh, Mario Power-Up equals Invisibility. What that is, is uh, you're not invisible with your small Mario. Uh, when, you, when you get a mushroom, when you become Big Mario, uh, you become invisible. So I, I'm going to do that now. So that's it. And you simply come over here and hit create. That creates a GCT file. And that's going to be stored in that codes folder, guys, or your SD card. Alright? So you go back, back, and just hit start. And we'll get right into this. Okay. I go with this right here. Let's play. Let's go. All right. So the quarry is what you're going to notice first. As uh, you can see, it's showing no coins up there at all. Uh, I'm small Mario right now. I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm not invisible. Oh. Let's go. go back into it. Alright. Get our coins. That's not going to count. <laughs> Alright. You see I'm invisible guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot through this level real quick. Oh shoot. <laughs> shoot. Right. 
time. Party time. Okay, well, uh, that, that's good on that one. You see that it works, guys. Uh, so, uh, we'll go back to the video here. If you guys don't know how to uh, set it to where when you exit a game, you go right back into the loader. Uh, I'll show you that real quick, too, while I'm here. Alright, you go to settings, go to uh, loader settings, and you, what you're going to do, you go scroll down to where it says return to. You see I got it set to a USB loader GX. Now you can click on this, and you can choose from all of these guys, whatever you want to, wherever you want to boot into after a game. You can choose any anything right here, but like I said, I, I just I go with the USB loader GX. And two guys, uh, this will also work. Let me show you real quick. Bad channels. What the, what these are? Uh, if you don't already know, this is your WiiWare. Uh, the one that I had. A lot of these don't have covers. I gotta download some covers. But here's one right here, guys. This is a WiiWare. This is Blaster Master Overdrive. You can go to settings and uh, the same with the other games. You just follow uh, follow what I did on the other one. Uh, you make sure that's all right. Ocarina's all right. Save it. Go to Ocarina. Download the save file. Cheat files, I mean. And here's all your uh, your stuff. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, go hit create, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, this will also work. Uh, there's also some WiiWare that, you know, the TurboGrafx-16 and Nintendo and all that good stuff. Uh, they also work with those also. So that's pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. I love it. Uh, I don't use cheats. All that much, I try not to, uh, especially with games I haven't played before. I like to go through it, the game at least one time uh, before I use cheats. But if I absolutely can't get past something, I'm using a cheat dog art. Screw that. <laughs> but it's nice, it's nice to have them, though. In case you need them. I'm going to go to the Wii Flow real quick. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. That's pretty much the same thing as I just did on the USB loader GX. I don't have any box art on this, hardly any. Or any of them. Yeah, see, I don't have. Here's the Super Mario Brothers there. There's a galaxy. Uh, what you do, guys, is simply click on the uh, game. Mario galaxy. Click on the settings here. What you want to do is, uh, I think it's on the second page. Yeah, right here. See Ocarina? You just hit it. Select on. Go to cheat codes and hit select. And you want to go download the files. And there they are. You got like 25 pages of cheats you can choose from here, guys. See that? And you just choose whatever word you want. And you go to go over here and hit apply. And that's it. Simple as that. It's really Super easy. Mario. Really very easy. Uh, so I'm going to exit to... I'll just go back to the video. I go to uh, configure USB loader. That's not going to use the uh, same folders as the USB loader GX does or the cheat manager. All right, so skip on over here. Configure USB loader. Okay, uh, the game I want to show you guys is uh, Resident Evil here. What you're going to do, 
simply click on it, go to options. Make sure your Ocarina cheats are on. And then you will uh, have an option to save. You want to save it. Make sure you save it or if you boot out of it, it will stay off. So make sure, like say, if I want it off, see how it has the save option? That's what you're going to have when you click on. You want to make sure you save it. Go to manage after that. Go to manage cheats. Uh, now, what's highlighted here, guys, you can't see it really because of my theme here I got, which is stupid. I will change it here soon. But uh, it says download text. That's what you want to do. You hit the A button to download the uh, text cheat file. And here, here you go right here. This is all the, uh, you got two pages of cheats here. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with the easiest word, obvious word is Leon, Leon is it visible. Hit the A button to check it off right there off to the left. And you go up to right here where I got it highlighted, it says save GCT file. You want to hit the A button. And that's it. Now you want to hit start. I'll show you real quick. Here, grab a GameCube controller here. Uh, would I like to create a system data file now? No. Not right now. Go ahead and hurry up get through this. Resident Evil 4. 4. <laughs> That's just the yeah, way he says that. 1990. Alright. Okay. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, this is funny. Uh, hello. Don't give me the head. Don't give me the head. <laughs> I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, watch out, watch out. Freeze. And you see, guys, I am invisible. It does work. So that's it. I mean, uh, I'm waiting this to tour it out, guys. Uh, I, I thank you for watching. Uh, I imagine. A lot of you guys already knew how to do this anyway. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Uh, I never knew how to do it. I've been playing it for a little while, so I imagine there's, like I said before, uh, there's probably other people that are, don't know also. So that's it. Uh, well, guys, I will sit back and relax for a while and uh, play me a few games and uh, I'll see y'all guys on the next tutorial. I hope this helped you guys out. Whoever didn't know about it. And uh, this is Bobby signing off.